Well, here we are again at Topic Town. Yep. Hi, Craig. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Good. Good. Uh, so today, I want to talk about something that happened to me when I was a kid. What? Mm-hmm. You better sit back. You're getting out of the shot, man. Sorry. Uh, so I was a kid once. He gets probably, excited yeah. sometimes. He wants ready to run. Get going. So you were a kid? Once. Okay, we're going to talk about when Matt was a kid. So I was... That was the intro. I was probably eight up to 10 years old, mm-hmm. uh, and I was in northern Minnesota, okay. way up there. Where, how, how tall were you? I have no idea. I probably 6'4". Were you one of those kids who was like just constantly complaining to his parents about wanting things? Were you like, were you like, like uh, oh, mommy, get buy me this, buy me that? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. Yeah, I probably. I'm hungry. I probably, yeah, I need Where, food. I haven't where's eaten. Where's daddy? I haven't eaten in three days. <laughs> when's daddy coming I was home? like that too. <laughs> so anyway. Uh, so when I was eight to ten years old mm-hmm. in northern Minnesota, I saw the northern lights, the Aurora Borealis. I've never and seen it, them in person. And it was amazing. It was like they, it, they were covering the entire sky. Mm-hmm. And it was like this liquid, like energy glowing stuff. Yeah, I mean, it was kind of creepy. Where did you scary. see it? In northern Minnesota. That's where it was, huh? Uh-huh. Can we ever see it here? In, uh, where we are in Chicago? It's, it's probably sometimes probably, but it's you know light pollution probably actually is brighter than. than mm, the well, we could we could go out Aurora. To, that we could go to the suburbs. That'd be a pretty powerful. Go to the Aurora, suburbs. We could go to a Chipotle. Yeah, yeah. but some... anyway, okay. The, the point of the story is I saw the Northern Lights, mm-hmm. but more than just seeing the Northern Lights, I heard them. I have a distinct memory of hearing like this electrical like crackle, like static, that was associated with. That's Northern Lights. not something that's supposed to happen, is it? I, well, it should be impossible to be able to hear, like for it to make sound that you would be able to hear because it's like 60 miles up in space. Okay. And you can't hear things in space and it wouldn't be able to make it to me. But there's a lot of historical documentation. People throughout the ages have said that they, the Northern Lights make a sound and it's often described as either like static or like a sizzling sound or like animals. But not everyone says that. Well, people who have, it's it's just what do you mean? Not, not everyone says that they've that they've heard them. No, yeah. Not, not every time you see the northern lights do you hear them, but hearing them is is a part of 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 people's cultures that have have uh, uh, you know experienced the northern lights. So, so this has never been documented. But wait, so you're telling me people hear this, but but science tells us we shouldn't hear. We anything. shouldn't be able to. Okay, um, and it hasn't been you know documented until. Uh, there was a Helsinki study in 2012 that actually recorded sound from the Aurora Borealis. Okay. And it was basically like a single clap. One clap? Yeah. And what? that's not exa- that's not what I heard at all. But the, the reasoning... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, why is it a clap? Why is it I know, that's, sing- the, that's the sound it made. Is that like right when it hits the, the atmosphere? Well, it was- has to do with this thing called electrophonic hearing. And it's basically... Since the northern lights are electro, the electromagnetic radiation, mm-hmm. there's a way that electromagnetic radiation can stimulate like the auditory nerves of a human. This is why this is why you think you may have heard something. Uh, possibly, this is how it could have right. worked. And okay. this this is associated with this is also the the phenomenon that like if you've heard about people picking up radio. Uh, stations with like the fillings in their teeth mm-hmm. that's electrophonic hearing where mm-hmm. it's somehow stimulate like, there's a direct stimulation of of the auditory nerve by electromagnetic waves and there's two documented cases of that um, mm-hmm. there's also this is not just an auditory phenomenon uh, it should be able to affect all your senses so mm-hmm. there is actually some some people accounts of people smelling the northern lights whoa they, were they, they now? They, were they on LSD, or were they? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Uh, but uh, there's also um, this is also associated with people be able to hear lightning. Mm-hmm. People say they can hear you know, more than just thunder. You, you know, you you at the moment you see the lightning strike, you hear like a snap or or a click. Mm-hmm. Um, and people hearing meteors, um, like a fizzling sound. And I actually have a memory of of seeing a particularly bright meteor and having hearing like this fizzling sound associated with it. And really? Again, you yeah. heard a fizzling sound? Yeah. Um, so, and this is all associated with uh, electrophonic hearing. Uh-huh. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is because we have a, a playlist coming up, which is tentatively titled uh, Seeing Isn't Believing. That's true. So I thought this sort of fell into hearing isn't believing. Mm-hmm. So uh, this is, we're going to have to do another playlist now about hearing yeah, isn't yeah. believing. Okay. But um, despite all this evidence for electrophonic hearing, um, yeah. 
I don't think I actually heard the Northern Lights. You don't. Or that meteor. I think I think it's psychological. And that's something they also mention is that this hearing of the Aurora Light or Aurora Borealis and all this may be psychological because when we see something like that, mm-hmm. it's like our brain wants to hear something. Mm-hmm. And so you associate some sort of sound with it. And I think that's what it was going so on. So you just want to hear so badly. Yeah. I mean, it's it's yeah. a, it's, it's, it's a... It's a pretty dramatic event, especially with the kind of northern lights that I saw, because mm-hmm. it was like covering the entire sky. Mm-hmm. It, it just seemed natural that you should be able to hear it, because it looks like there's all this energy like flowing through the sky. You should. It feels like your brain, I think my brain just wanted to hear it. So you don't even trust your own hearing, Matt? No, I don't. <laughs> wow, you, you, so... I've been in a band for over 10 years. My hearing but is, this is suspect, but this, to say the best. What is it called? Oh, electrophonic hearing. Yeah. This is a science. This is a this studied is, thing. This is an actual thing. Well, and but why I'm don't not you believe to it? it? Why don't you believe it? I don't it? believe... I just... I, I think it's more reasonable that... Because it, it has to work under certain circumstances of when mm-hmm. I was reading about it. And it's, it doesn't happen all the time. Yeah. And I feel like it's more likely that my brain made it up. Made up that sound then I actually heard electromagnetic waves that are pulsing through my body. Well, I mean, they are pulsing through your body. Why, maybe it, it certainly is possible. And I'm, this is just my opinion about myself. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I think it's more likely that I was, it, my, my brain made up the sound. So you, you, can we do an experiment somehow about this? I suppose, I mean, there's electromagnetic waves going through us all the time here in our cell phones and all that. stand at a microwave? Wouldn't, never... wouldn't, if it held true, wouldn't you hear something like, a micro, I guess a microwave makes sound anyway, but yeah, you would you would you would be hearing things like all the time, like the sun. What is, if you when you hear a microwave, it sounds differently than when I hear a microwave because you're hearing the electromagnetic uh, spectrum. Uh, I suppose that could be true, but it doesn't seem to have any implications <laughs> if it, if the microwave sounds different. Well, you could be our aurora borealis detector. You could be like, oh, it's over here, boys. I hear it. <laughs> Like, uh, yeah, like a Northern Lights hound yeah. person. You're uh, Aurora Boar, we'll call you. <laughs> the Aurora Boar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll write, let's write a whole movie about it. The let's Aurora Boar. The Aurora Boar. The boy who could hear the Northern Lights. <laughs> it sounds like a really <laughs> boring movie, actually. <laughs> boring <laughs> movie. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> what else you got? Uh, that's it. I just, I wanted to bring up, because I think this is a cool phenomenon, um, mm-hmm. that I may or may not have experienced. Uh, yeah. I don't think I did. But it's, it, it's an interesting thing that we can actually hear. Shh, all right, shh. Can you hear... Hear anything? No, not getting anything. I have a text, although I may, I have a text from my fiancé, but I'll deal with that later. Uh, but although I may remember this, and I'll remember the cell phone sounding yeah. like sizzling bacon. Man, remember when your phone was real loud? <laughs> Is that what it sounds like, sizzling bacon? Is that what the... Well, that's, that's the description sometimes of it. It's, is that what it... What did it sound like with the Aurora Borealis? It sounded like... It sounded like sort of like static or electrical static. Did the meteor sound the same way? It was sort of... It sounded like... Meteorite? Sort of like fi- the, meteor. Meteor, because it hasn't hit Earth yet. Uh, it was like a fizzling right? sound. You know, sort of like like how fireworks, you know, would be like... Shh, yeah. Like that kind of sound. Okay. That's what makes me think that I was making up the sound. Because it's the same sound, kind of? Because I was associating fireworks with, mm-hmm. with the, the meteor. That's true. So maybe you're just, you're just mentally unstable. Yeah, I know. Uh, so what... Side topic. What, is, what are the three things? Meteor, meteorite, and... Uh, meteor... Meteor... Meteoroid? meteoroid? Yeah. What's the meteoroid? That is... Well, so meteor, meteorite is when it hits the ground. Is that right? I think so. And a meteor is just when you see it in the sky? I think so. A meteoroid, I think, is just when it hasn't burned up in the atmosphere. It's just floating around in space, right? I don't know. Right? Well, Somebody out there knows. Someone tell us. <laughs> also, uh, we, we could easily Google it later, too. Mm. Uh, also, have you experienced this? Do you, hear, do you think you hear electromagnetic waves? Maybe we could start a subreddit, or maybe there already is one. Yeah. Electrophonic hearing. There probably already is one. Well, is there one? You know, and I was trying to look up yeah. if there was, like, a name for the psychological phenomenon of, like, associating sound with something that is silent. And I, mm-hmm. I couldn't find it. I mean, there's got to be some sort of term for it where, you know, you see an image and it's silent, but your brain, like, fills in the sound. Mm-hmm. Does anybody know? <laughs> I couldn't find what, what it would be called. <laughs> yeah. Let us know. Also, the battery's dying on my laptop, so we should wrap up. Okay. So, thank you for watching. Mm-hmm. Um, hope to hear from you soon. 
See what I did? I tied it into the hearing. Mm-hmm. I, I get it. You get it? I don't think you get it. I'll explain later. Bye. Bye.